Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What's the first thing that comes up in your mind when you think about Korean food? Yes, kimchi, right? So today I'm gonna teach you how to make a delicious Korean stew with kimchi. In Korea, we call it kimchi jjigae. First, let's make the anchovy kelp broth to flavor our stew. Boil for half an hour. While that's boiling, let's prepare other ingredients. Use ripe cabbage kimchi, rich in lactic acid bacteria. Kimchi becomes spicy and tangy when it's ripe, so actually getting the right kimchi is half of the work. Scrape off the extra seasoning and chop into smaller pieces. Now, cut the pork into flat, bite-sized pieces. I left some of the fat on the pork. Kimchi chige tastes actually better when the fat mixes together with the spicy kimchi. Take a red ripe tomato and cut it into four pieces. First, I'm gonna slice the green onions and then cut the tofu into small pieces. Put some oil in a pan and stir-fry the pork. When it starts to turn brown, add the kimchi and keep stirring. Now, put the tomato and the anchovy broth. Put just enough broth to cover the ingredients. Oh, the tomatoes will add more juice. Now it looks like kimchi chili. If you want a retro flavor, there's a tip. I'm gonna share my secret with you. You have to add the liquid we kept earlier. One spoon of red chili powder. Add the green onions, garlic, and tofu, and boil just a little more. Delicious! This might actually be the best kimchi jjigae I've ever had in my whole life. Who knew the tomatoes and kimchi would go so well together? What are you doing tonight? Why don't you come over and have kimchi jjigae with me? Come on! Come on! 